the box were practicing at the Wilson Stadium in one of the disadvantaged communities of Kwasakele Township. It's part of the idea to inspire young players in underprivileged societies. It was a historic moment for some of these young players as they met their rugby heroes. Some hope that one day they will wear green and gold jersey. I'm happy to see them because they're practicing and to see how they do the game. So, because I want to be one of them when I, because I play rugby. We are happy to see the Springboks coming here in the township because we always see them on TV. My favorite player is Beast. Much of the focus this week will be on set pieces, area where Ireland were dominating for most of the second test. And on Saturday, it will be all about starting well and keeping the intensity up for 80 minutes. So our senior players will be better. Everyone will have to be better. And I would like us to start well. I'd like us to, from the onset, have more accuracy, have more discipline in our game. And uh, once we kept continuity and we cut out the unforced errors, we got momentum. It, you know, it was like not easy, but we, it's difficult to play against us. Because we do ask questions on our attack now. We, our set piece are really uncomfortable with our set piece. The bench was credited for pulling it off in Johannesburg on Saturday after staring down the barrel for most of the match. The box now want to win the series. Now we can win the series this weekend. Um, it's 1-1, one, one, so we have all to play for this um, this week. But then again, uh, we play for South Africa. We want to win every test match. Uh, so really looking forward to this weekend and yeah, this last 20 minutes, um, I think a few guys stuck up their hands. I think the whole, the leadership group, um, everything just worked out. Uh. Loose forwards Dwayne Felmeren and Warren Whiteley as well as prop Trevor Nyakane are still nursing injuries. Sikumbuzo Noche, Yako Krill and Stephen Kichop will provide cover on the bench if they don't recover in time for the match on Saturday. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.